guys and welcome to my channel my name is Mia Gogo and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about natural and clean beauty if you already know me what's up I'm back if you are new to the family please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you can be notified whenever I post a new video. If you're familiar with my beauty journey, then you know that I have slowly been morphing into a natural beauty girl, meaning I like to curate my regimens to have majority natural and organic ingredients. Natural beauty and clean beauty are terms that have been used interchangeably by some people but they are actually quite different and it can be a little bit confusing if you're just now getting into that realm of beauty and you're wanting to try out products you're like okay this says clean does that mean it's all natural does that mean it's organic oh this says organic is it clean and I noticed that in a couple of my videos where I mentioned natural and organic beauty I think it was one of my honest beauty videos I saw comments asking so are natural and clean beauty the same thing and so I thought it would be a great video to do especially since I plan on sharing more clean and natural products on my channel so first let's talk about natural beauty when a brand is saying that a product is natural they're usually referring to the purity of the ingredients in the product typically when people are in search of natural products they're looking for something that is strictly derived from nature so that means that all of the ingredients in the product are nature found and none of them are lab made or synthetic and as i've learned not all natural products are going to be great for the skin like just because it's all natural or it came from nature that doesn't mean that you would really want to use that on your skin like say for instance we all know that some herbs and plants are poisonous and even some that are not inherently poisonous they might just have adverse effects on our skin so not all natural products are going to be something that you do want to use on your skin but when a product or brand is saying something is natural you can count on it coming from nature and i also want to point out the fact that natural and organic are also two different things moving on to clean beauty this one is a little bit more difficult because clean depending on what brand or organization you're asking can mean a couple of different things Clean does not guarantee that something came from earth. Clean can mean that it's lab made, but it's been tested to be safe for human use. One skincare specialist describes clean as, to me, the definition of clean is biocompatible. That means the skin and body can process, accept, recognize, and successfully use it without irritation, sensitization, and disease or disruption. Clean can be synthetic and or natural. So clean is a little bit more tricky and this is where I noticed that sometimes brands will use clean as a buzzword and then you read the ingredients and it has like a whole bunch of stuff that it might be safe for you to use but it's probably not the healthiest. So I would be careful when a product says clean always check the ingredients because something can be clean but that doesn't guarantee that the ingredients are all gonna pass your standards test of what you feel is comfortable to use on your skin those are my short definitions of what clean versus natural is I don't want to go into too far detail because I'm not an esthetician I'm not a dermatologist I'm just telling you guys what I've learned so far I just want to let you guys know that like check things always always read the ingredients because a lot of companies depending on the ethics of the company are not always really geared towards your best benefit so always have your own best interest in mind and double check you know you can also check on the ethics of the company are they just pushing a clean product all of a sudden or have they always had an ethical standpoint in fueling their customers bodies with natural and healthy ingredients so now that that's out of the way i kind of just want to share with you guys some of my favorite clean beauty and natural beauty products at the moment i'm going to start with showing you guys two masks that i love right now and one is actually almost gone i've mentioned this before which is gold clean greens i absolutely love this mask it is only a couple of ingredients mango juice powder marshmallow root extract spirulina power powder and chlorella powder this is a mask that you just mix with water or whatever ingredients you want to mix it with i usually do honey and water 
mix 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 put it on your face in a nice even layer it dries hard and then you just rinse it off I love this one it's super good and it's kind of detoxifying the next mask is Coco Kinds resurfacing sleep mask my skin personally does great with retinol so I'm not surprised that my skin loves this that uses a natural alternative to it I love this mask I've used it around only like five times it's still fairly new to me but each time that I used it in the morning I loved the results if you're not familiar with sleep masks you wear them at night you sleep with them on and then you wash them off in the morning and each time I washed this one off my skin felt extremely baby soft like I loved it and this mask retails for $22 so it's a little cheaper than the first one so if I'm not mistaken, this product is clean whereas the first mask was natural and organic staying with Coco Kind I absolutely love this Chaga Glow Chaga bronzer and this is basically like a bronzer and it's clean I actually didn't use it today so I'm just gonna use it on cam and show you guys like it gives you a really warm bronzy look and it's supposedly a clean product the ingredients are castor seed oil jojoba seed oil sunflower seed wax mango seed butter chaga rosemary leaf extract calendula i love calendula extract mica titanium dioxide iron oxide so pretty much a lot of the ingredients in here are certified organic whereas you know mica and all of that is not but this is a vegan and a clean product. Chaga Glow retails for $12, which is pretty cheap for a bronzer. Or actually not cheap, but it's pretty standard for a bronzer. So next products I want to show you guys are from GoTo. If you watched my 90s beauty video, you saw that I used these in there. And I, I love these. I just knew it. I knew I would love them. So Fancy Face is a nourishing oil cleanser. And the ingredients are sunflower seed oil. No, sunflower oil, sweet almond oil, triglyceride, camellia oil, passion fruit seed oil, sesquiolitate, argan oil, isomil laureate, vitamin E, and natural fragrances of roses, tuberose, and gardenias, rosemary leaf extract. So, this product is clean and cute is what they say this one is just a clean product i love it so much so it's an oil cleanser depending on how my face feels i'll use this and then maybe another cleanser after at night but if it's morning then sometimes i just feel okay to just use this alone but if it's night and i had on makeup or something then i'll use this first get that makeup off and then go in with a second cleanser but it's definitely like good enough it cleanses well enough to use it solo the next product by go to is face hero and this is a facial oil this product is actually all natural so yes that's good to note as well within brands certain products could be all natural and then certain products could just be clean so also don't ever just think oh this brand is no they might mix and match so the oils in this facial oil are almond oil jojoba oil macadamia oil brazil nut oil apricot kernel oil evening primrose oil baruti oil rosehip oil calendula extract arnica extract kiwi fruit seed oil vitamin e sunflower oil rosemary leaf extract and natural fragrances of orange blossom and rose gardenia so this product is all natural and I love that in a facial oil. Face Hero retails for $45 which is a little bit expensive for an oil but if you'd like a cheaper one that's going to be the next product. This is the Honest Beauty Organic Beauty Facial Oil. I love this one. This has eight fruit and seed oils. I thought it was actually cheaper but it retails for $27 which is still pretty expensive but I guess since these products are all natural and organic you do kind of get your money's worth and the ingredients in here are avocado oil apricot oil rose yang yang clove oil perilla seed oil chia seed oil and jojoba oil and olive oil sunflower oil apricot kernel 
avocado, lavender oil, lemon peel oil, bergamot fruit oil, basil oil, clove oil, and it's a couple more. I just don't want to read all of it. But I will link all of these products in the description so you can check them out if you want to try them out yourself. Also, none of these are sponsored. These are all products I love and use. There's nothing left in this bottle. There's only like a little corner, so clearly I loved this one. Moving on to some of my more expensive products. These are investments. I would not even show you guys any high-end products if they were not great because I don't want y'all wasting money. But I actually really love these products. So the first one is Atar by Monastery. Monastery's description is, This essential oil-free nourishing balm is full of precious ingredients that protect the skin boost and boost its glow. Hazelnut, rosehip seed, rare rose extract, jasmine, sandbag, and Indian tuberose fortify the skin with essential fatty acids and vitamins a b c and e which stimulate regeneration repair uv damage and soften fine lines i think if any two products have transformed my skin the most i would probably give credit to these two monastery products atar and flora if i use this in my routine i usually use this last kind of like how you would use say for instance more of a lotiony moisturizer after your oils or your serums well, at least I would, but I like to use something thicker after and I'm dry prone. So naturally, I do like to, you know, double down on my moisturizers. And then there's Flora, which is a serum and this is a cream serum. Atar is $158, which I know some people are like, what the hell is wrong with you? But this is great if you're looking for an investment product that one is going to last you extremely long. Two is going to really be the bomb.com for your skin. This is it. And then Flora retails for 118, which is also extremely, extremely expensive. I know, I know, please don't kill me y'all. But I'm telling you y'all, this stuff lasts. Yes, I have a, oh, the smells. Like these are literally high grade premium botanicals. And I can tell I've never experienced anything like this with my skincare products. One clean makeup product that I like is Honest Beauty's cream to cheek blush so this is clean guys and it is this rosy color and i used it today actually i love this product a lot like it's super super lovely texture this product retails for $19.99 and sometimes with cream products i notice it can move around on the skin a lot once you tap it in and buff it in it kind of stays put which i really like and it's a great product i love it and those are all of the clean and natural beauty products that I'm going to be sharing with you guys. Those are some of my absolute favorites and some of my newer favorites. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it informative. Took a little nugget that you're going to take with you along the way in your journey. Let me know. Please subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment and I will see you guys on the next episode.